Hello and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon, where Toothrot has Brock, <laughs> or at least <laughs> that's what the announcements say. Uh, but yeah, here we are in the park, and you know, last time <laughs> I was really like, oh man, video is running long because <laughs> I looked at the time for uh, <laughs> for a change, you know, <laughs> and uh, but we did uh, watch the test ride, you know, we know that the last coaster that we added uh, is safe, you know, the wisdom hole. Uh, we don't know the ratings yet, but I'm sure it will be okay. However, you know what I realized? <laughs> Look, it's the 4th of October. <laughs> so if I were to just let this park run, you know, it'd be finished in like no time. <laughs> because really... Look at this. We are not going to lose um, 428 guests in a month. Not Well, maybe if we close the park and everybody has to leave. Okay, maybe then. But else? No, we are not gonna lose this park. I think it's safe to assume that we are not gonna. Especially because our uh, none of our rides can crash on us last minute. So, <laughs> yeah, it is literally impossible. However, um, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> that means that the park's doing really good. I'm also doing really good. You know what I saw yesterday? I saw the best start of any Formula One season I have ever seen. <laughs> now, I, I'm not watching it for that long, but man, yesterday was amazing. Uh, today is less so amazing as apparently people started shooting. And I am about to shoot the handy dude over here. No, but there was actually a terror attack, or at least that's what the newspapers call it, you know. They always hype things up, but uh, yeah, so a bit mixed feelings, uh, but not about this park. This park is pretty okay. Uh, let me see who... Is it really a handy dude 21? I feel like it is not. No, it, it, it's definitely not. I feel like it is uh, over here on this stretch. So, handy dude 27. <laughs> After you clean this up, you get the sack. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, but yeah, in reality, uh, <laughs> we don't really need to do that much more. So, um, you know what we should do, though? We should just finish off this coaster. Despite us not needing it, we are still going to finish it. Because <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, having said all that, uh, let us get to, oh man, I want to build that as well. We have the time for it. You know what, you know what, you know what's the thing? Uh, we should, we should build this first, you know, just to finish up the, you know, this, this five, uh, ride basically. Uh, also, we should definitely do this. 25 seconds, I believe, was the lowest we set the others to. Let me see. Yeah, 525. That was, Those were the settings. Right, okay, let's build this last one. Man, I mean, <laughs> really, you know, the park. <laughs> Speaking about finishing it on a high, uh, look at just, you know, what the goals are. And what we did with it, really. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. Uh, I think we actually have one more station piece to put here. I think we can even get away with that. Yes, we can. Nice. And then we should do something like this. And then basically do the entrance here, exit there. Right, and let's start the construction then, shall we? Because why not? <laughs> and there is absolutely no need for this whole coaster whatsoever. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, I want it. Uh, also, I think it would be kind of cool if we are able to... Do something like this. Uh, maybe with an S-Band? Uh, that's not gonna work. So we would then need to do something like this. Then do the S-Band. Uh, hold on a second. Now my perspective, my perspective is screwing me. 
Yeah, this isn't going to work. What I wanted to do was go below the green track and then cross above it again. But we would need to be at height 16 for that. And that would mean going even one higher and then we wouldn't be able to pass over here. So, uh, the alternative would be to... Uh, <laughs> to just drop it down even further <laughs> and then go up from there. <laughs> Why don't we just ch change order on the tracks completely, right? <laughs> and then... Oh, we are, we are not changing order. <laughs> we are just building above the other track. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's another thing you can do, you know. Well, I mean, <laughs> why build alongside when you can also just go above the other track? Is there a point at which we can cross the other tracks safely? Well, that's the question. I believe there should be. Yeah, it's not going to be over there, though. I feel like that's one too far, so... Come on, game, game, and then this should work out, right, so right now we're at height 20, let us S-bend over here, and if we were to drop it down further, I mean, this would, this would do, and then we could go up a little, we would have significantly less pace than the other coast is right now. However, I do feel like, no, we still have the roller coasters in the way message. I mean, from height 22, I feel this is pretty doable. So, yeah, no, hold on. We are at the same height as the yellow coaster. There is no way we can pull this, up, this one off over there. <laughs> So, we'll S-bend it, yeah, <laughs> to the, uh, you know what, this might not be such a bad idea to S-bend it over to that side. And then, of course, it does mean removing the tree here. And another tree, come on. And now we will have, like, the really steep drop, yeah, oh, this is... Uh, this is going to be it. Uh, no, <laughs> it is not. <laughs> uh, what we could do... Is... Go straight for a bit. And then actually just keep on going straight. Now, rem mind you, this is the coaster that it is on the inside. So currently... Uh, we need to go to the other side uh, of, like, uh, <laughs> all the coasters. So, there's definitely, you know, some some necessary track maneuvers <laughs> that this thing needs to make. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Uh, right. And then go down one. Nice. Now, currently we are at height 14. And we are completely going totally off sync with the rest of the tracks i mean i i'm not against going off sync with the rest of the tracks but really i don't want to do it too much so you know what we are gonna do now i think we uh, can utilize the s beds yeah perfect nice and then we will Oh, <laughs> then we will lift it. That is, if we can remove the tree. Oh, we are actually below the yellow. Are we now? Which? Oh, it's the red coaster that sneaks in like a sneaky bastard. And we, in theory, guys, in theory, we should be able... ...to do something like this. Oh my good lord. We are actually able to pull something like this off. Wow. This is amazing, really. Uh, we need to go one lower with this. But this is truly amazing, guys. 
the fact that we are able to <laughs> almost pull it off because <laughs> uh, yeah there is this issue uh, but this is quite amazing really the fact that we can just weave in this total unflexible track you know that's like ridiculous hard to get any cool track design out of really uh, I mean, you know what the thing is though, and le let me just pause it for a moment here, you know what the thing is? This coaster is continuously a bit high. We never really drop down to the low points, you know? I mean, over here we go to height 13, there's height 8 over here, and height 12, and height 10. Then we go up to height 22, and then, you know, what do we go down to? Height 18. The others go to height 9, height 11. Then we go to high 10 over here, which, uh, you know, the yellow track uh, does as well, you know. Same height levels over here, uh, same over here, and then basically there's no point at which we pick up the pace uh, compared to the other coasters. So... Uh, and we kind of do need that because else what happens is it's just going to be a really lame and boring ride and despite this being a truly difficult effort in track building I also want it to be a cool coaster right so you know what we're going to do to have this happen uh, we're going to remove a few track pieces I believe this should be okay to do. I don't really need to go this far out. This should be okay. Oh, never mind. We do need to go this far out. And then go down. Nice! Look at it! We made it with a 20,000! 500, uh, 20, 20,000, <laughs> what am I saying? 2,050 guests. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it is quite safe to say that we've blown this park out of the water. I mean, really, let's be honest. We've blown it out of the water and I am proud of it. Damage was the guy who did it. Uh, slash DF, you know, you know the one. <laughs> But yeah, we did it! Nice! Look, 1500 guests! Amazing. Anyway, um, we are not finished uh, constructing our coaster over here. We will continue. Um, yeah, so uh, what, what we are to, uh, going to do here is lower it. And at height 12, we should be able to pass. Because uh, there is like this curve here, and of course you'll see that right now we right now we are on the line of the green track. What I want to do is has uh, this coaster is gonna be the only one which um, is going to go into the underground over here, or at least that's the goal. So what we're gonna do is we're also gonna have this have. Oh wait, no, I'm not above the other track. I thought that for a moment, but that's not the case. It's just that the, it's the curve of the other coaster which is in the way. But yeah, we're, we are going to have this one go into the underground twice, as pretty much the only coaster. Uh, and we're also going to resurface again before we go into the underground uh, for the second time. So it's just like a secret extra underground section, basically. Let me see, so we'll go straight a little, we'll go straight even further, uh, yeah, this is about right, excuse me, um, and then we'll go up, yes, now, mind you, the coaster will have amazing pace here, so there's no real need for us to speed it up in any way, but what this will do, hopefully, is uh, keep the pace of this coaster, uh, you know, really nice and quick. 
And because of that, I think we will in the end match the other coasters quite well with our pace, you know? And with where it's gonna um, end up in regards to the finish. Uh, on the other hand, if it doesn't work out like this, uh, then we know that, uh, you know, speed isn't all that counts for this type of coasting. And it's also ups and downs that count. Uh, wow. Wait. Huh? No. Game! Come on! Game! Why can't I... Oh, wait. <laughs> For a moment I was like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I must have misclicked, you know. It happens all the time. So, and then we go down. And then at height 3, we should be able to just go where we need to go. And then that should be over here. And then go over here. And then... Right now we are like inside the hill, basically. So we can do stuff. What we do need to do is make sure that we line ourselves up with our coaster station. Uh, at the right spot. And right now... We are only like one tile off, so if we are to do something like this... All of a sudden we're in business. And then we drop ourselves down to something like this height. Am I really lined up? Yeah, I'm pretty lined up. <laughs> I'm pretty lined up, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Alright. So that would mean... No way. We are not lined up. I'm one off. <laughs> Why didn't anybody say anything? <laughs> and of course, that doesn't work. Right. Okay. Yeah, now it all, it all becomes clear to me now. This is what we need to do. As bend to the other side. And then go up. And I believe we can even have one more piece of straight and done. Nice. Right. Okay. Um. So, of course, these are not going to be horses, but motorbikes. Oh, and wow, look at our guest count, by the way. <laughs> it is insane. If we continue this park, I'm sure we can get over to like uh, 2,500 uh, within like the next year. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, we're not gonna do at the though, but what we are gonna do is I, what, what I want to do because the park is finished, right? And we are gonna finish these coasters because we're not gonna leave like a half-assed job here But what I want to do is do some science, you know uh, Figure wait what? Three in the way now? No way No, but I want to learn some mechanics, you know figure out the details of how stuff works uh, and we're gonna do that together uh, or at least <laughs> I'm gonna do it and you will get the conclusions of my science right so we will benchify just a little here and despite having finished the park you know uh, we will still act as if this were just part for the completion of the uh, of the park we're also not going to name this just roller coaster one. We are also before we do this though, we are gonna test ride it uh, just to see if we've actually made like a, a safe coaster. But how shall we name this? I mean, all I can really say, <laughs> like let, let, let's let's call this, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the front wing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, we, we are gonna call this uh, Karma Avocado. <laughs> and if, if if you've seen the Formula One, you know what this reference is to. <laughs> yeah, 50 million reasons to hate yourself. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Right, okay, so the Karma Avocado is cruising about here, uh, doing its thing. Um, let us get the paint job of the other coasters done. I think, just in general, we should take a look at this, you know, and uh, start with, like, uh, the yellow one in the center. I think all the supports should be black, you know, I think that's cool. And we are gonna have this be, like, this coloring. How, how cool would this be? I think it would be pretty solid. Oh, wow, it only just makes this. This is like, it's really slow going, actually. I did not expect this. And this crash proof, at least. <laughs> we know that much. <laughs> uh, and then synchronize. Synchronize. Come on. And then I go with, like, the 25 seconds. And the other goes this out. The pace is really slow, though, on it. Anyway, um, Tong Tong, you know, all in the same colors. And this, we are also not gonna have. We're gonna have this be uh, dark blue with uh, yellow. Oh, you don't see the yellow anywhere. Red. Okay. Oh, look, we got the award for the park with the best roller coasters. How nice. Right, so the Karma Avocado, we do not have the ratings yet, but then again, you know, we also don't have it for this coaster, the Wisdom Hall. Oh, not bad, 6.79, not bad. All these coasters are not bad, really. Now then, uh, then we are gonna go with uh, these tracks, and we shall make these... Uh, something like this. Yeah, something like that. Uh, we're gonna have these be dark red bikes. With a uh, black detail thingy. Yes. Right. Uh, we're gonna have this over here be the same color scheme. But then in the opposite way. So, it's a subtle difference, you know, but it's a difference nonetheless. Uh, the cars are gonna be very different, though. We're gonna have these be silver and blue. Yeah. Alright. And then over here, uh, we're gonna have these be... This green. And black. And then over here, we're, we're, we're gonna basically do the same trick and reverse the scheming. So, this needs to be this green. And this will be this black. Does it look good? It's not really. It doesn't really look good now, does it? Let's change it up slightly, you yeah? know? It is, it is supposed to be spooky looking, but it does need to look good and not dull. And <laughs> this does look a little bit dull, you know? Um, maybe something... No. We'll go with the grey for this one, to break it up a little. And then this, this will be a bright pink and white, yes. All right, Karma Avocado. <laughs> Actually, uh, you know what we should do for the Karma Avocado? <laughs> Just to honor the name, <laughs> it is going to be black and yellow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now it, now it totally fits the name. Now, here's the thing I want to uh, test, you know, because uh, let me see. How's the Karma Avocado? It is the best rated. Hold on a second. What now? It is the best rated of all of them? Really? <laughs> the Karma Avocado is, along with Terror Hand, is actually the better coaster. Now, I'm curious, what makes this such a good coaster? It is one of the longer ones, that's for sure. That's the most track length. Uh, the G's are less than most of the other coasters with the positive G's. Lateral G's are a little bit higher. Oh no, those are negative vertical G's. 
Uh, not, not even the highest. Uh, and lateral Gs are more or less... Uh, well, they are a bit on the high side, you know, but... Wow, look at our money skyrocketing. But I, I don't really care about that, but wow, I'm surprised. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to test a theory about uh, lift costs. So let us just grab a coaster that we would normally build. Something like, I feel like the inverted coaster is something I would build if I have the money for it. Uh, you know what, let's go with like the suspended looping coaster. So this is just a theory, right? To test out something about the cost of lifts. So, here we go, right? So if I... What if, what would the cost, operating cost of this coaster be if we were to lift this to height 15? Ah, three in the way. Maybe it, it's better to go the, the other way with this one. So, <laughs> and then again a tree in the way. <laughs> so, we will go down. I said go down. Oh wow, apparently we are way too down. Uh, you know what, let's go up uh, to high 20 for this one, because uh, that's better for our testing purposes. So this is all with a continuous lift piece in it, right? So now we drop this one down, and yes, I will terraform the absolute living crap out of this. Because money is not what's going to be the issue here. This is... Oh, wait. No, but what we should do is for our testing purposes, <laughs> we should have it also all be above ground, right? Equal playing fields for everybody. So right now we are at the height of the station. Wait, what did I do now? Right, so right now we are at the height of the station. Um... To compare this uh, in a fair way, what we should do is, uh, from over here, do like our regular lifting uh, thingy, which goes only to height 17. I don't really feel like that's the right thing to do. Um, yeah, let's... It, it, it shouldn't matter in the end, you know. But let's go till over here. Basically, we're just reverse building this. Well, all we should do now is just remove a, a few of these track pieces and we should be good. Now, I think it might not be clear to you guys what I'm trying to do here. But just bear with me here uh, whilst we test this. So, we just test right it. It doesn't matter if, the, if it actually makes it, you know, that's not relevant. For the testing purposes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build a second of this coaster. Uh, but we are going to reverse the uh, the stuff that we built on this one. Also, I find it hilarious <laughs> that you can have two trains on such a uh, <laughs> tiny station <laughs> really. That's another thing we just learned. So... And then... Oh... Hold on a second. I do see a flaw in my plan. <laughs> and that is that we do, we can only have one train. <laughs> I mean, I say it doesn't matter, but when it crashes, we don't get there and gather any data. So, yeah, we, we do we do have a, a, a slight bit of nuance over there. Uh, and then we go something like this. Yes. And then drop down, steep, until uh, we are over here. And now we are going to construct this one backwards to 
height 20 to be precise because that's the height that we have over there and also do like a uh, oh really at height 20 there can still be trees in the way <laughs> what now <laughs> yeah 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 whatever Right, and, thi and this one... Oh wait, this is actually coaster, coaster 2. You are also only gonna have one train. And you are also going to test ride. Now, in terms of track pieces, these coasters should have identical amounts of track pieces to them. Uh, that's not true, actually. No, 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 that's... that's I'm lying over here. I am lying. These coasters are not identical. What I should have done for this to be truly identical is um, I should I should have had this go up steep. If we did that, then we would have a truly identical uh, coaster in terms of track pieces, except for the lifts. So, if we were to do that, this would mean go steep like this, do some terraforming. Now, pray that we don't have any other coaster tracks that are in the way. I'm sure there won't be. Yes, good. Yeah. Now the coasters are identical in terms of track pieces. All that we have different over here is the uh, the way that the lifts are set up. Now for you, do we have running costs? No. Why is that? Oh, because it never makes it to the end. Huh. Okay. So hold on, hold on a second. Do we have booster tracks for this one? Because uh, if we have, I would like to use them. How? Oh. Come on! No booster tracks. <laughs> That's annoying. Um, that does mean that we can effectively not test this method. Unless we do this with like the steel coaster. But that means rebuilding everything. Okay, screw it. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have blasted away the park, you know, and even with our experimenting, look at look at the thing go. We are at like uh, 2,288, <laughs> not doing anything productive here, other than building two completely non-functional coasters. However, I owe you guys this. We are going to do this experiment again, but then with a steel coaster that has booster track. And we are going to find out if my lifting technique, which has always been like this, is more expensive or not. It's not going to change me building it in a different way. But I do want to know if they've taken this into account. And I do believe that setting stuff up like this, you know, because this bit of the coaster is an exact copy of this bit of the coaster over here on the other side. Um, we should find out the difference over here. Uh, but we're gonna discover if that's the case or not next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.